Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today is time again for DAX Fridays. This time we are going to go through the function called select columns. So if you want to know what that does, stay tuned. So last Friday we went through a function called union and I explained on the video that there were some issues with it, okay? And uh, we are going to use select columns to fix those issues. So this is a perfect video because we will uh, help Union to produce the right results all the time. And uh, for me, I will introduce a new function called select columns. Uh, this tip comes from Gopa. He actually watched the video and he says, uh, you know, the safest way to use union is actually doing combination with the select columns. And this is exactly what I'm going to show you today. So thank you very much, Copa. This is very useful. I've got a tip for DAX Friday and we will introduce a new function. Awesome. So let me show you what the issue was with union in case you haven't seen that video. So here we are in Power BI and we have used the function union to join or append two tables, a table called int and a table called us. No issues there uh, when everything is properly in order. But what I did as a part of the video, it was I actually created a copy of int and I changed a name and suddenly the order of the columns was affected. And as I explained on the video, union takes the columns as in the positions that they are. It doesn't check the name of the column or the header. So it has its benefits. Of course, it has its problems because in that case, it actually appended the, the columns incorrectly. This is not the result we want. So to get the result we want, union, you have to use it with select columns. So let's go and check what Microsoft says about select columns. So what Microsoft says about the select columns function in DAX, it says it adds calculated columns to a given table or a table expression. And the syn syntax is uh, select columns and then the name of the table and then the name of the column. And then here you have, in our case, the name of... So this is the header and, and this is the uh, actual column. And uh, let's put this in practice. I'll show you how to use uh, select columns. So here we are back in Power BI and what we are going to do is we want to join IND that has country, state, count and total together with or to append with IND2 that has country, state, total and quantity. So as you can see, it does not have the same headers and doesn't have it in the same order. So quantities is here is in the fourth place while in there is on the third and is called count. That is the difference. And when we append this, we need to use select columns. Now, if you remember from the previous video, union will take the headers of the first table you join. So for this scenario, let's imagine that we want to keep these order and these uh, headers instead of the ones here just to make, don't make it too long. So we will take these and we will append it with in the two. So how do we do it? Very easy. We go again to new table because union is going to give us a new table. So we can call it union three, for example. And then we get the function union. We're not going to change anything on the first table. In reality, you should use select columns for both tables in, in case somebody changes anything on the first table too. It's just that it's used the same way and I don't want to make the video too long. So for you, you select columns on both. For me, to make it a little shorter, I will do it only on the second one. So 
I put the first table in, so it will keep the headers and the order of the first table. And then for the second table, we need to use select columns. Here we have first the name of the table we want to join, and it's in the two. Then we have to have the name of the um, of the headers, or the header name for the for the column, and that was country. And now we have to have the actual column, and that is country. Okay, let's. So it is easier to see. Alt enter. We put the next header, which is state. And then we put state. Alt enter. We put quantities. Mm. And then we put quantities. This is where we're actually changing the order because if you remember quantities on in the two table, it was at the end. And now finally total. And here is in two total. Perfect. And here you have it we get the right the right result so let's see before when we were not using select columns we got it in the wrong order but now using select columns we can actually decide the order of the columns and union will do the append correctly remember to use select columns on both tables i've just done it to save you time but you need to do it in both in case something will change in the future. You have set the order for those tables. Okay. So this is it. Okay. So this is all for today. Actually, if you like the video, just let me know by liking it or by sharing it. I really would appreciate that. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions about the video, just let me know on the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Now, if you want to uh, get alerts when I publish a new video, make sure you click the bell next to subscribe, otherwise you won't get them, okay? So have a fantastic Friday and a fantastic weekend.